As Americans headed to polls on election day, Kosovo's mosaic artist Alkan Pazigu, who has set world records for his images created out of carefully placed beans, paid tribute to the two U.S. presidential candidates with his latest piece. Using 120 kilograms of various multicolored beans and grains, Pazigu created portraits of Kamala Harris and Donald Trump in the center of Jakova, in western Kosovo. Pazigu holds the Guinness World Record for creating the largest grain image, measuring 560 square meters, in 2019. He also achieved a record with a mosaic of pristina-born British singer Rita Ora. Kosovo is one of the most US-friendly states in the region, as Kosovars consider Americans one of the liberators from the Milosevic regime. They faced a stark choice between two candidates who have offered drastically different temperaments and visions for the world's largest economy and dominant military power. Oh, you can see the button, you can see the Kosovo, so you can see the Americas, Harris, is President Donald Trump. So you can see the the Russian forces continue to pay a record price in personnel and equipment losses amid Vladimir Putin's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, according to figures by Kiev. Russia has suffered record losses of personnel, armored vehicles and artillery systems, Ukraine's defense ministry said. According to the report, the total loss of armored fighting vehicles equipment since the start of the war to 18,450. Newsweek says that Kyiv's figures for October claim that Russia had lost 903 of the vehicles, which is the highest monthly total since February 2022, beating the previous record of 889 recorded in March 2022 at the start of the war. Ukraine also said that Russian forces lost 27,840 cars and cisterns. Drilling down into these numbers for October showed that over the last month, there were record losses of this equipment of 2,340, beating the previous high of 2,103 in July. Ukraine's estimate of Russia's artillery systems has also surpassed the milestone of 20,000, reaching 20,013. Meanwhile, on the metric of troop losses, which includes those both killed and injured, Russia continues to pay a huge cost in personnel, according to Kyiv. 
It said that there were 693,640 Russian casualties, the total, during the war. The monthly tally for October reached 40,520, the highest of Putin's full-scale invasion, beating the previous record of 38,940 in May this year. Ukraine says its figures are approximate. Getting an accurate number for Russian losses is difficult, with neither side publicizing the toll in personnel or equipment in the war. Russia has not updated its official figure of troop losses since September 2022, when it said that just under 6,000 soldiers had died. Russian forces are making incremental gains in Donetsk, but they rely on infantry-heavy assaults that generate high numbers of casualties in what are dubbed meat grinder tactics. The chief of the defense staff for the British Army, Admiral Tony Radikin said in July it would take five years to replenish the Russian army to where it was before the start of the war, according to Newsweek. Horrific losses of the Russian army is making it harder for Putin to continue the war. However, Moscow is reportedly able to call on around 30,000 new recruits each month. Also, its force numbers will be boosted by North Korean troops, around 10,000 of whom will be sent to Russia to fight, according to the Pentagon.